My name is Adwai Joshi, and I'm the Chief Seer at Data Sears. Absolutely. Data is everywhere. Uh, there is a massive volume, velocity, and a variety problem. And what happens is it creates a lack of veracity. There is not one place where everything can be stored and accounted for. So what we say, Taming the Data Demon, is we take control of that data and convert it into something that you can trust and use. So that's what we mean by Taming the Data Demon. So today, if you look at how fraud is done, it's very sophisticated. The days of pickpocketing are pretty much gone, although they exist in some parts of Europe, I have heard. Today, it's more about sophistication. How can I avoid detection? So if the other side is using AI to actually commit fraud, we should actually be looking at it very carefully and using it as well, because they have to be right only once. We have to be right every single time. What we do is we actually have a very uh, specific process, a methodical process for cleaning, homogenizing, and labeling the data. And once that happens, our machine learning algorithms are able to pick those patterns, identify the attributes that actually affect a specific fraud use case, and able to detect those anomalies so that there is less noise and more accuracy. Without the initial process, most people fail because garbage in, garbage out. And because of our data processing, it, makes, uh, it gives you higher results, higher accuracy, and lower noise. Well, payments are becoming faster, not just when you spend money, but also on the back end. People are coming up with real-time settlement, and it's going to continuously push uh, the market. If you look at payment innovation, right, a lot of things are being experimented in the eastern geography over in Asia. It slowly makes its way over to Europe, and then we are the last people to get it. So the good thing is if you actually watch the trends there, so next year, apparently, uh, the biggest trend is going to be remittance. And it's going to completely change the market. People are now, if you look at companies like Paytm, where they're giving you a consolidated experience with allowing you to put your money, allowing you to pay, using that same account, allowing you to invest in the market using the same account. Uh, they're actually going to do a lot of analytics on it and tell you how you can save and so on and so forth. So if you look at it, banking and payments has grown. It's starting to unify. Uh, it's happening more on the outside of the US than in the US right now because of the regulations and all the entities. But that's where I think the future of payments is. It's actually just one unified experience, money coming in, money going out, whether it is spending or investments. Not really. Uh, it will reduce the issues, right? It will, act, it will be able to catch things that sometimes humans cannot. But the reason why it will continue to exist is you have to basically understand that the other party has much more powerful tools than the banks and the entities that are trying to fight them. If that was not the case, fraud wouldn't be there, right? So I think it will help uh, and it will evolve over a period of time. I don't know if we'll ever achieve a 0% fraud or 0% compliance issues. We're going to have to keep up with it constantly. So all we can do is be one step behind, not 20. This is, everybody's here. The processors are here, the networks are here, the banks are here, the fintechs are here. I think this is by far the best event to attend. Uh, globally, not just Vegas, but I love the Europe show, I love the Singapore show. It's so much you can get done. Uh, 10 plus thousand people, every decision maker is in these four walls right now, and so it just makes perfect sense. Not being here would be the biggest mistake. So we're actually looking to open up our London office. That will be the biggest focus of 2020. Uh, it should have opened in 2019, but Brexit has, was making it a little bit difficult for us, but we decided that, you know what, we're not going to wait anymore. It's a market opportunity we cannot miss. So uh, London's coming up. We have some exciting stuff going on in Singapore. Uh, and so as we continue to grow our US and India, those two markets are going to be watched and we will start developing in those two countries.
We have tremendous domain expertise. We have been doing this for the last 10 years in this space. Uh, our board and uh, our advisory members are, they have tons of experience. So we have hundreds of years of combined banking and payments experience. Also, we are currently working with some of the largest issuers in the US, which gives our algorithms many transactions to learn from. Machine learning works if you let the, let the algorithms learn. The more transactions they can learn off of, the better they get. We have tens of billions of transactions that we go through on our platform. And I think we have that competitive advantage and the advantage of being able to complete the 360 uh, on the data flow. Onboarding, ongoing, and account closure, which not a lot of people do. That what, that's what makes us truly unique.